Good morning, friends. Welcome. Welcome to worship today. Can you remember what your days were like in March? Way back in March. For some of you, it might feel like that was just yesterday. For some of you, it might feel like March was a long time ago. There are a lot of things that have changed since that time and during that time. And sometimes we call our lives right now a new normal. And in some ways, things might be starting to feel a little more routine for you. You might be more used to wearing a mask when you leave the house. You might be more used to staying home. But I think it's important to remember that a lot of what's going on right now is not normal. It should not be normal for people of color to be hurt by police. It should not be normal for us to have to stay far away from people we love. It should not be normal for people to be worried about their jobs or about where they're going to get something to eat. A lot of this is not normal. And so whatever you're feeling, if you're worried, if you're confused, if you're just tired, that's okay. Something that helps me is to remember that even though some of the people I love are far away and I'm not able to see them, we're still connected when we show love and care for one another. When you call a friend or write them a letter, you're showing your care for them. Last week, we talked about what it means to love neighbors who are different from us. And when we show love to one another, we are staying connected. We're going to read from this story called The Invisible String. And this is a story we've read together at church before. And it reminds us of the ways that we are connected even when we're far apart, even when we're feeling tired or weary. So let's listen. The Invisible String by Patrice Karst. This is dedicated to the children of the world and the magic of their strings. Liza and Jeremy, the twins, were asleep one calm and quiet night. Suddenly, it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mommy, mommy, they cried out as they ran to her. Don't worry, you two. It's just the storm making all that noise. Go back to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We're scared. Mom said, you know, we're always together, no matter what. But how can we be together when you're out here and we're in bed, said Liza. Mom held something right in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, the twins came closer to see what mom was holding. I was about your age, 
when my mommy first told me about the invisible string. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't need to see the invisible string. People who love each other are always connected by a very special string made of love. But if you can't see it, how do you know it's there? Asked Liza. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it with your heart and know that you are always connected to everyone you love. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until I feel it tug on my heart. And when you tug it right back, we feel it in our hearts, said Jeremy. Does Jasper the cat have an invisible string? Liza asked. She sure does, said mom. And best friends like me and Lucy, asked Liza. Best friends too. How far can the string reach? Anywhere and everywhere, mom said. Would it reach me even if I were a submarine captain deep in the ocean, asked Jeremy. Yes, mom said, even there. Or a mountain climber, even there. A dancer in France, even there. A jungle explorer, even there. How about an astronaut in space? Yes, even there. Then Jeremy quietly asked, can my string reach all the way to Uncle Brian in heaven? Yes, even there. Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Never, said mom. Love is stronger than anger and as long as love is in your heart, the string will always be there. Even when you get older and can't agree about things like what movie to see or what game to play in the back seat or what time to go to bed. Oh, that's right, you two should be in bed. And with that, they all laughed as mom chased the twins back to their beds. Within a few minutes, they were asleep, even though the storm was still making the same loud noises outside. As they slept, they started dreaming of all the invisible strings they have and all the strings their friends have and their friends have and their friends have until everyone in the world was connected by invisible strings. And from deep inside, they could now clearly see. No one is ever alone. We'll have a link to learn more about that book and about Patrice Karst on her website. She also does a few read alouds of some of her stories if you'd like to watch those. Friends, I miss you all so much, but know that we are connected. And when we share love and care with those around us, we are sharing God's love. So I hope to talk to you soon and thanks for joining us today.